Now, this is the calculator method for the question that we just solved now. Now, how do you do with this? Now, many of you that watch the episode 2 of this season 1, you will observe that I gave you the calculator method, but that one may not be able to solve the one that includes the cosine, sine, tan, cot, sec, etc. But take note, it is the same process, but it is just only one step that you need that will make it to solve. Then the step is this. Before you start with that process I gave you the last class, you have to press shift mode. When you press shift mode, you are going to observe that you have something in number three, which is degree. It was degree we used in the last class. You will not press that for this question. But you observe that we have number four to be radian. So you have to take your calculator to radian. So press number four. When you press number four, your calculator is already in radian. Then you can proceed with your question. So now, press your shift and the button under your alpha. To give you something like this, if you press shift and the button under alpha, then let's press the question. So press cos. When you press cos, it will open the bracket. Then press your three alpha x. Then press square. Then press minus. Then press two. Then press alpha x. Then close that bracket because that other bracket is for the differentiation. So you have to close the bracket of the course you open. Then that is all about the question. Then comes to where you have your x. Then let us input a value for the x in which we can input 2 as we use. Then, so press 2 and press equals 2. When you press equals 2, you will observe that the calculator will give you the answer to be minus 9.87. Minus 9.87. You have to be careful, though we already know the final answer to this question according to the AND method we saw, but you have to be very careful because it is minus 9.87 minus, not positive. So let's go with the option. The option that gives us the same answer with this question is our right answer. So please take note. And we have to rewrite the answer here, which is minus 9.89. Minus 9.89. Minus 9.89. Now, press your AC. You press AC. When you press AC, we'll test the option A. If you want to test option A, before you test option A, actually, you have to go and save your X as 2. So press 2. When you press 2, press Shift and press LCL and press the button of X. It will save like this. When you save it like this, then press AC again since it's already saved. When you press AC like this, then let's go to the option A. So quickly press minus. When you press minus, then press sign. When you press sign, it's open the bracket, then press 6, then press alpha x. When you press alpha x, then press minus. When you press minus, then press 2. Close the bracket. When you close the bracket, then press equals 2. When you press equals 2, you observe that the answer to this question, to this option A, is 0 0.544, which is not the same thing with the question we, we answered. So let's go to the option B. Option B, let us press this. You press AC before you press option B. So when you press AC, or you press minus. When you press minus, press sign. When you press sign, it's open the bracket. Then press three, then alpha x square. When you press that, minus, then two, then press alpha x, close the bracket. When you close that bracket, you press equals two. When you observe this, you have this to be minus 0 0.989. Which is not the same. Don't forget that the answer we are looking for is minus 9.89, not minus 0 0.98. So that shows that option B is not the answer. Then press AC. Let's go to the option C. We have you press minus. When you press minus, open the brackets. When you open the bracket, you press 6 and you press alpha x. Then you press minus 2. When you press minus 2, then close the brackets. When you close the brackets, you press sign. Then press your three, when you press three, then press alpha x, then press square, then press minus, then press two, then press alpha x, then close the brackets. When you close the brackets, press equals two. You observe that this option C gives us minus 9.89, which is the same thing as the question. This is the answer. And as you know, that we've solved this before. If you check option D, option D will give you 9.89, not minus 9.89. So the correct answer, which gives us the same thing to the question result, is option C. Thank you very much for this class. Uh, 
If you have any calculator method that you need in the next class, please comment and subscribe and make us to know the next calculator method that you need. God bless you. Thank you.